We just have about a minute left, but I wanted to ask you, you've got your finger on the pulse of your district in the Merrimack Valley. Uh, how's Elizabeth Warren doing there vis-a-vis -vis Scott Brown in the U.S. Senate race? This is the, answer. the Merrimack Valley, as you know, is, uh, is a conservative part of the Commonwealth. Uh, I think Elizabeth Warren, I have yet to see her uh, in the Merrimack Valley. Scott has been up to the Merrimack Valley a lot. I think in the Merrimack Valley what you'll see are people concerned more about the issues than the party label. So we, I think in both cases, uh, Scott and Elizabeth need to get out uh, and talk about the issues that matter, uh, whether that's eliminating the debt, the issue of illegal immigration, big issue uh, in the Merrimack Valley. So to me, that's going to be the focal point, not whether you're a Democrat, independent. It's really going to be about the issues. Well, it's very early in the Warren campaign, but she's already indicated she is, has had harsh words for the Republicans in general and for the, the wealthy who she says needing more. Is that viewpoint widely shared in the Valley? I don't think so. I don't think it is. And I think as we move forward, I mean, Scott obviously needs the sort of Tea Party support, that sort of Republican support. In order for Elizabeth Warren to win, she's going to need those conservative, moderate Democrats, especially in the Merrimack Valley, to come out and support her. She needs to do a better job addressing those issues that matter to those individuals. So no Bedore endorsement today? Not yet. <laughs> Thanks, Senator. Thanks, John. Good to have you Thanks. here. Nice State Senator Steve Bedore of Methuen. That's